so we reach the business end of the competition. No second chances, no margin for error. Manchester United shape up in a 4-4-2. It's a system of balance. The midfield can be a straight four or a diamond shape and one of the attackers can, can always drop off. Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt. And here we are, early stages. He struck one and he looks hungry for more. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out. Never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Fellaini. Looks like a good ball through. Iheanacho with a beautifully timed run. Out wide to the right. Zahar plays it out to the flank. Oh, the ball's come loose! Great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious. He's one of the biggest influences out there. Here, Nacho. And scored inside the first 10 minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. The ball is out of play. That's a poor kick by the keeper. He's just given it straight back. It's being played forward. Looks to slip it. And the finish! It's there! Two up now, and they are cruising. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled.
Deportivo get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two... And that'll be the last act of the first half. So your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Deportivo sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. That's the start of the second half. David Luiz tries to shoot! Great build-up, it all deserved a better ending. Beautifully worked to take the defence out of the picture, but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this. They're committing a lot of men forward at the start of this second half. They know that this is an important time for them now. Milner. Lulic. And it's Pogba. Nicely controlled. Can he deliver? Surely. Fair attempt. Just the wrong outcome. Safety. That's a throw. And he's cut it out. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting... It's Saha! They are rampant! And they are cruising away! And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Demonstrated great strength there. I mean, he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away. And I think it's just top, top play. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. I just think that's really good management, introducing one of his younger players when the pressure's totally off, just allowing him some valuable, easy on-field experience time. Deportivo take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. David Luiz. Mulder can hoist it clear. Alexis Sanchez. Bellini. Looking for options. Tries a through ball. A oh, sweet feet from him there. Shapes the shoot. It's broken loose. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And helps available out wide. He's had a go. The whistle has gone, and it is all over. Deportivo sitting pretty. Big favourites for the quarterfinals now, after winning the first leg away from home. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of a match, and if you can back that up with an early goal, it just energises everybody, the whole performance, and I think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal.